What's going on, guys? No, what's going on? I just thought I'd do a little end of year review on the old Toro all wheel drive recycler 22. Um, for you guys that don't know, it's got a Briggs and Stratton 7.25 foot pounds of torque 163cc. It's got that uh, Briggs and Stratton just check and add. Never, ever, under any circumstances, change the oil. Which you don't want to do. Which you definitely want to do. Because um, I don't know what snake oil they give you with this thing, but I had some issues with this thing starting on the third, fourth, fifth pull. Since I changed the oil, first pull every time, maybe the second here and there, but, um, you know, I'm doing this end of the year review a little early. I mean, I'm still going to put a couple hours on it. Um, we got 18.3 hours. So I might have like 19. I didn't put it on right away. I think I did a couple loans with it before I put it on. But anyway, um, yeah, I put like 50 hours a year probably on my walk uh, push mowers. So uh, I don't use them that much. But um, yeah, I'm just going to tell you what I think of it now that I've, I've end the year. It's a good mower. Cuts awesome. Cuts awesome. Cuts real, real good. Really, really nice cut. Um, but now, you know, that I've had it for three months and uh, it's not all shiny and new. And, you know, work has gotten to it a little bit. You know, this is a homeowner's mower. It's not a commercial type mower. But um, I don't need something like that because I don't use my push mowers that much. But... Like I said, now that it's it's hit the elements a little bit, you know, it's been bouncing around in the trailer. It's been hitting other equipment in the trailer. It's been getting knocked around, you know, banged into, you know, it's been running over some rocks, some tree branches, and shit like that. You know, some things are starting to show on. Now, the biggest issue with this mower is this crappy height adjustment system. I think I might have went over that in another video, but it is it's terrible. Absolutely cheap shit garbage. Um, you know, I don't perk uh, these reviews up. I tell you my honest opinion. Um, you know, Toro has to do something better than this. But uh, each wheel has its own height adjuster. Um, you know, which is kind of odd. Most mowers today have one in the front, one in the back. That's how you lift your deck. It's even a couple mowers that it's just one handle and it, you know, lifts your deck up. So this is kind of old school, and these are just cheap, flimsy, crap metal. How you stick this hole through this notch a couple times, it's come out of there. Not so much in the front, but in the back, it it has you. It, can, it barely latches on to these notches in the back. I don't know if you can tell. Right there. So I keep it at this height. And um, most of the time. But it, it slides out of this. I mean, if you whack it real hard or, you know, don't if you don't make sure that it's in that hole completely, like, you know, that, that wheel's gonna, gonna move. Um... But, you know, again, I, I've beaten the living shit out of this mower. Uh, you know, it's all scratched as shit in the front. You know. Uh, you see this here? These knobs. The plastic is pretty much ripped right off of these. They got some shit over here. You know, all you commercial, uh, residential guys, you're never going to put this mower through that. So, this mower through that kind of abuse, but... You know, I got some electrical tape I had to put here. This whole thing, the paint was coming off. It kept, keeps rubbing against the side of my trailer. So, 
just eliminated it a little bit, but as you can see, not too much. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's going to happen. You're running over some stuff. It's bouncing around in your trailer. Strictly commercial guys using, but see these handles? It's very, very flimsy. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not a real solid type of machine. I, I went over all the, the bolts and everything to make sure everything was tight. And, uh, it's tight. It's just, just the way it is. So, I mean, if you're looking for an all-wheel drive motor, now, let me tell you, too, the all-wheel drive system on this is, is pretty good. I, I went up a hill like this, like that, right there. And this thing, this thing had no problem. So, it's good. The all-wheel drive system's very good. Um, yeah, so, like I said, for residential, excellent mower. You'll, you'll love it. Commercial. It cuts good, and it's all-wheel drive, and uh, as long as you, you know, don't, you know, beat it up too much. You know, it's got an aluminum deck, the, the, the Toro commercials have steel decks and all that. I mean, you know, it's 400 bucks. That's what you're going to get. I paid 350 but, you know, it is what it is. Um, the personal pace, still working awesome. But, um, yeah. So, you know, I give it definitely a thumbs up. Uh, besides the, the wheel height adjustment, it's not that it's not that good. It's, it's pretty pitiful. It's pretty disgusting, to be honest with you. But uh, another real quick thing. I wanted to keep this video in 10, 10 minutes. Toro Time Master, all you fans of the big red machine. Uh, there's some good news out there. Well, not if you bought one already, but from what I've heard from my dealer, who obviously sells Toro products and he sells quite a bit of Time Masters, um, the 2017 model, they're going to make a couple changes on it. Supposedly, they are hearing about the cut quality of the mower and are, I guess, putting their grade a engineers to work so um i'm pretty excited personally because let me tell you that was my only issue with that mower it's built like a tank you know this this one's built this this uh all-wheel drive it's built real good and it's a great great cutting mower but you know it's a little flimsy here and there you know that time master was built solid and it was quick this one's very quick too i want to just touch on that real quick this 163 cc engine it has plenty of speed for that, you know, type of power. I mean, when you press down on that handle, this this thing will move. Not like the Time Master moved, but it's definitely for a self propelled mower, very, very happy with it. But anyway, the Time Master, I guess their engineers are working on doing something with the deck or something with the blades. Um, they did make one change. Um, three years into it, they used to have a low-level blade, uh, low-level, a low-lift blade on it, and they switched to a high-lift blade, so I guess that helped a little bit with the cut quality. Um, it definitely did with mine, because I had one of the earlier, second year it was out. Um, but yeah, I put high lifts on the Time Master, and it definitely helped. Not enough, but it helped. So I guess, yeah, they, so that's good news for you Time Master people who, who liked it. But it just didn't have that cut quality or couldn't have cut tall grass or mulch good enough for you. So I'm very excited. Hopefully, maybe a GIE, um, which I'll be going to in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we'll be hearing more about that. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Any comments or questions on this end of year review? Um, let me know. Um, I do recommend this mower. Like I said, I don't know the Husker Vana. They make the all-wheel drive. They can't with the system first. Um, so they, they're a little bit, a couple, three, three, four years up on Toro with it. So I, I can't see a... Uh, man, why is this so blurry? Man? That is just unbelievable. I can't see 
I, I really can't see as, uh, any other self-propelled mower cutting as good as this one. Now, like I said, it's not a commercial mower, I'm sure. Hey, this is not going to hold up like one of their steel decks or some of those Hondas. This is a homeowner mower, but it cuts. It does cut very well. And if there's room for improvement, I, I would... It's Let me know the mower, and I would probably get one. Only if it's, you know, not crazy priced. It's a decently priced mower. But anyway, that's this garbage, All right? So, any comments or questions, let me know, and I'll get back to you later.